what's going on guys welcome back to the sword channel tonight we're going to be doing another clip from the sword podcast of the five year no man's sky anniversary this is my interview with my good friend zane from over at zane's world guys if you haven't already please do check the description below like share subscribe to zane's world guys and i do always always appreciate the thumbs up and the subscriptions guys i hope you enjoy this clip from the podcast it was such an amazing interview the amazing my my good friend zane's world how you doing zane hello welcome good. to it buddy i have been abducted I, yeah man you i don't want to Steel Cobra's line. You've been raptured. <laughs> oh, that's all. I was trying to think of that earlier. What is what is what is called raptured? I kept I kept saying abducted. And that's far darker. He he used to he used to wait until somebody would be speaking in the uh, waiting room. Like he wait till your your icon lit up to snatch you up into the stream chat. He'd always want to catch you mid sentence, like middle of a thought. <laughs> I'm feeling you may have done that because I think I was just about to say something. I'm not sure. <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Sneaky. <laughs> well, welcome to the podcast, Zane. Dude, listen, to each and every one of you content creators uh in the green room, on the chat, in in the in the thank you guys for taking the time out of your Saturday, Sunday morning, Saturday night, uh to uh to come be a part of the podcast, guys. I, it really means a lot to me and I know how precious uh how precious time is as a content creator. So I I do really, really do appreciate it. But Heck yeah, guys. Welcome Zane's World in the chat, guys. Dude, I'm telling you what, you talk about like the 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 who's who and the in some of the lineup of really, really successful No Man's Sky content creators. You don't have to go far down the list or even well, my depends on whose list you're looking at. You're up the top of mine, buddy, because uh, you know, you know, uh -huh. you're my buddy, but <laughs> but you don't have to go far down the list uh in it in the channel in, in the successful No Man's Sky creators. And you, you'll see Zane's World, man. You've been cranking out content for this game for quite some time, man. And I want to uh, thank you for the awesome content you've done. I'll be honest with you, dude. I tell people, when I first started doing it, I'm like, yeah, I learned it from Zane's World. Go watch his content, you know? <laughs> oh, thank you, man. That's super kind of you. And thank you for putting this on, dude. It's really cool. Man. Nice uh, big old celebration. I don't think I've ever seen, like, everyone in one place before, pretty much almost. Yeah, I, like, I'm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed, man. He's cool. Zane gets a lot of behind the scenes of the Sword Channel conversation because me and him talk quite a bit, and you know how nervous of a wreck I was today setting this up. You actually helped me make a lot of this stuff, so <laughs> heck yeah, man! Oh, big shout out to Zane for helping with the with the uh, background uh, screen and all this, man. I'm, yeah, it's come together quite well today, and I'm I'm super chuffed for it, man. But oh, yeah, man. let me get you started out with the first question, man. What's your hype level for Frontier? Pretty high, to be honest. Um, yeah, like really, really looking forward to it. I've been, uh, yeah, but I, I'm, I've, I've kind of been holding off on like doing certain, you know, high investment content and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, like, especially like guides that I end up spending two weeks plus on a guide so it's like if it's at a date the next week that's not good um <laughs> yeah. so as soon as it drops i can get back into it get back into the flow properly bring out more stuff and whatever and it should be good but yeah like as far as playing it goes really really look forward to seeing what they do because like every single time they just surprise us so much it's like well sometimes they'll give us enough of a clue that we'll guess a bit and we'll feel good about getting a bit of this right and then we'll realize that was like 10%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, and, then, and then the rest is like, oh, so technically that still fits the title. But but no one expected this. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I, to be fair, man, listen, I, I remember back in the day with the uh, with the bite beat. Um, you know, a lot of people's like, oh, bite beat, this, that, and the other. I'm like, well, no, you know, con I, I, who was it? Uh, MZK said, content is content, man. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. If you plan on doing it, if it's something that you like or not, it's still content. It is awesome for a YouTuber to to have some new content, you know? Yeah, totally, yeah. 
but heck yeah, yeah it's, man. A, it's a it's a it's a big deal to us uh. heck yeah man well listen let me get on get on through this interview with you um um i know you you kind of got the 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 pre pre scripting on what the questions were going to be so it's not really fair i don't get to catch you off guard <laughs> oh i mean i mean i know one <laughs> yeah well listen man uh let's let's talk a little bit about your history with uh uh your youtube channel man uh you know what what inspired you to be a youtube content creator and uh when did that come about oh actually yeah i, I don't think I'll, I'll have ever uh spoken about this far back uh so essentially i used to work uh i used to work in a supermarket and um me and a friend of mine we're just like we tended to think very similar and then we basically just do the same thing at, like at the same time whatever and then we talk about it and uh one day she was like you know what i'm thinking of making a youtube channel i'm gonna try and do i'm gonna try and see if i can like uh you know uh work work seo and stuff and try and pick some things to like uh, be successful with and uh i was like hmm, well i think i'll give this a go um i like uh i'll i'll love games and stuff but I like uh, figuring stuff out, so I think I'll do. Uh, I'll try go and get a gaming channel. Um, he uh, his channel is like Mind Oddities. Uh, his channel is freaking massive. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he 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 went for uh, some like the highly shareable content type stuff, and um, and like I went for uh, gaming, much much slower growth and yeah. uh, stuff. But uh, yeah, a lot of fun and. That was five years ago, maybe five and a half. And then basically, yeah. we just um, we both we both um, was were, were making content, and then uh, of course doing our full time job. And um, in the end, actually, they were making our shift uh, like redundant. They're making they were taking our shift completely out, so they gave us the option of going on like days uh, with a lower with a pay cut or take like uh you know like a deal and uh be made redundant so we both actually at that point his channel was already pretty good uh things about a year into it so like uh i uh i decided that i would take this opportunity to uh give it a proper go you know like put in full time if i was going to try it doing youtube i should try doing it with all the effort i possibly could Heck yeah, and man. Uh, then yeah, and that was the end of my social life. Five years ago. No. <laughs> I don't feel it, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that that was actually about four and a half years ago now. Holy, that, that's that's a while. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah, man. Well, I'll be honest with you, man. I, I I I don't know. I know I've mentioned it to you before. I don't know if I really uh, expressed how much how much i appreciate your content man um thank you man your uh your six months to fail uh video videos were that was inspiring i don't know if you knew that i mean that stuff kind of give everybody hope you know like here here's zane like his day-to-day -day, like this is you know him starting this channel out and he's he's doing a video doc you know a video uh, uh uploads of of you know pro progress he's made of this and it's like man that's that's inspiring it, it really is to see somebody that to make a commitment that i want to create content and kind of document their journey through it it's a uh, it's been it was really refreshing really nice to watch uh now with uh no man's sky man what drew you to no man's sky um no man's sky well actually um probably my my, my oldest friend um uh we like uh we, we we always used to talk about pretty much everything and like uh one thing he brought up the once was uh this game that looks really cool um called no man's sky this, this was about a year before it released and um he showed me the e3 um announcement where like his where the camera just pulls out further and further through the stars like mm -hmm. and um I was just like, this looks amazing. Yes, we should we should get this. <laughs> um, and like, as soon as it came out, that I I think anyway, I'm not absolutely certain, but I believe um, that Nomad Sky was the first game I ever streamed total. 
Oh, nice. Um, it's an awful stream because I had a black background. <laughs> my hair's black. My camera was terrible quality. And, well, it's not much better now. Um, and essentially, you can, my hair and the background were one. There's no defining lines of any kind and stuff. It looked nice. awful. I was in the dark. <laughs> And um, I was uh, playing a bit of uh, No Man's Sky. Uh, right, it was on the the launch day for PC, and uh, <laughs> and like I ended up, I played I played it originally for about thirty five hours, I believe, and then nice. I kind of I had my fill, and I was kind of content. Like I wasn't annoyed or anything. I wasn't one of those people who was annoyed at yeah, uh, what yeah. they got with the game. I measured my expectations and I got what I generally expected to get. Yeah. Um, and after about 35 hours, to me, 35 hours is a pretty decent amount of time to get from a uh, AAA game. Like, I always think of uh, Metal Gear Solid, Sons of Liberty. That took me nine hours to complete. Um, yeah. And that was a full price game. So Yeah, I you're like, it. man, I paid that much for this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. And then... I didn't touch it again until Pathfinder, where I played a few hours, and then I came back in Atlas Rises, and I haven't left since then. That was four years ago. Yeah, man. And it, what a four years of spin, hadn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Man. Yeah, it's crazy. Man. I was just thinking. I was just thinking uh, when Craze was on. It's like uh, actually, actually, first kind of semi. I don't know about Met, but first like. Um, saw craze when uh, both of us were doing mass effect andromeda content and like the first time i ever uh saw it was when we both made uh, a guide on shotguns in mass effect andromeda oh, nice. and it popped over and i realized people had watched both mine and his like uh for mass effect like the same people like uh mass effect andromeda was the first game where my channel actually started to pick up a little bit nice nice and then uh no man's sky was the rest <laughs> yeah man i i hate that i missed out on the mass effect craze because like i um i didn't get into i wasn't into like console or 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 pc or or whatnot like home gaming um until about no man's sky or well it's been probably a good year after no man's sky released and uh and you know, I kind of life kind of put me in a situation where I'd have more time to play games and stuff, and uh, and got into it. But yeah, man, I I bought the the Mass Effect Legacy uh, pack and been intending to play, but it's like finding time to play new games like <laughs> it's 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 one yeah. of them uh, rarities <laughs> for me to be able to sit down and play something I don't cover or play something that I'm not in a group of other people with right lately, but uh. But yeah, man, I, I, that that's awesome about the about you and a craze, you know, it channels. Uh, Y'all, I mean, be fair, man. I've been following you guys early on. Like, I kid you not, man. Like, one of my first YouTube searches was uh, uh, how to do how to make units or something. Man, your farming masterclass was up, and I was like, okay, oh. cool. Let's watch this. I watched your masterclass like. I guarantee you got like extra 50 views out of me because I watched it and about memorized it because it was such, it was so detailed, but it was, it was, it was great. But my piddly old sword mind had to watch it two or three times. You know me, I got to be told stuff three or four times to get, kind of pick up on it. Uh, <laughs> you seen that earlier today during the edit. No, no, stop. <laughs> You're going to mix them up. <laughs> No, that was really smooth in the during the edit. <laughs> that was awesome. but, but yeah, it was like it was like you, and then I wanted to find an S class ship, and that's where I uh, run across game modes of uh, uh, crashed uh, holler uh, video, and then uh, watching your content, I seen the collab that you and him did, and that's when I picked up on Craze's channel, started following his stuff, and man, it, it, and to be fair, man, it has been a blast watching you guys evolve the content and grow your channels this last last uh several years man it is it's been amazing to watch because to be fair not just a fan or not just a friend i'm a fan um but yeah dude it's that that is a that's kind of my greatest moments what about yours uh what 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 would you say will, probably one of your greatest moments uh playing no man's sky this past five years essentially it's a it's a mixture of things. So I was actually thinking about this over the last couple of days, and like, I've nailed it down to um, 
just like these it's hard to say the most or the best or whatever but like these three which i'll I'll, I'll only say like briefly but essentially the founding of the uas so like the univalid system civ um the farmer's market due just due to the insane response yeah it got where like the first thing out of these three that i did was farmer's market and that was just after atlas rises i think august like four years ago um I was amazed when I saw people were so up for getting involved. And like, that's where I met Dark Lord Zalric. Mm -hmm. uh, he um, he uh, just started, he was just commenting that he's checked the bases for me and stuff. And like, this one uh, ha is, has one error. Uh, so like, I fixed that. Okay, it's all perfect now. Every single time someone um, sent me a base with all the info, Dark Lord would check it all uh, hey, to verify yeah, it for me on PS4. And like, um, it was just this whole thing. Pidge, like, uh, he put a base in everything, and it's just like, yeah, it was uh, what that, that that was one of the first sort of moments where like, I really felt like I was joining the community itself. Nice, nice man. Heck yeah. And yeah, yeah, it was cool. And then like the the third is just um, my original Stasis device farm. Because when I did that, and when I finally released the video, which was the last of that masterclass videos run about, um, I remember just logging on and going to my base and just seeing, like, uh, just combos. Yeah. Like, by my base, I was like, no way, so many people have come to this base and just said, like, they love it or whatever. Oh, it's yeah, just... man. Yeah, it's just crazy. It's uh, one of those... On those things, pretty cool. I feel you on that, man. I, I know when uh, early on when I was with the Amina Hub and then moved over to the um, uh, consortium and the FDI, you know, I made a lot yeah. of bases of farms for people, and uh, and that's how we used to share it was like share out the portal address, and you'd have to go take your nomad out to the farm and harvest it and this, that, and the other, man. And people yes. would leave combos by the portal, man, and dude, and around you, but even around your base, man, it was nice to log on. That, that 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 afternoon and see a new combo where somebody come by and you know harvested your base and telling you thank you for doing it. it it's it's a good feeling i mean it makes you feel good uh totally yeah now yeah and like i go ahead that but sorry because like that that was a, that was the actual time me and you met roughly in the consortium because mm -hmm. i was bringing the farmer's market to merge with the consortium yep yeah and you were in the amino and i heard about this dude Who's essentially the me on the, uh, like me, but on Amino, <laughs> uh, like as in like guiding people with farms and stuff, and like uh, and I was like, oh, okay, I've got to meet this guy. So I like popped on the Amino, and like said hello in chat, and you were like, dude, and then we just started talking. <laughs> oh my god! Oh like, my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, and that, that, that ended up being like the start of like a, I think, we've been friends for about three and a half years now. Yeah, right? man. Heck yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man, it's been crazy. I, I, it's it's like, and you know me. You know how much I, you know how much I do. You know, as far as like, I don't do real life. It's kind of like how my friends are online. So it's like, <laughs> like I got a, I got, a, I got a lot of friends, but I got a handful of like really tight people. I, I'm, I, you know, that I talk to about things, and and man, it's been great. It's been great having you as a friend, man. You've been a great friend you too, uh, man. since me and you've met, dude. Now I'm telling you, man, I can't thank you for what you do for me and for the community and and you know, for No Man's Sky in general, man. Because I mean, you know, it you know hats down, hands you know when when all said and done, you know we're the creators that's going out there showing new people this game and you know Hello Games, you know they do a great job producing products and games and content for us but you know it, it's a lot of people lean towards where their content creator leads them a lot of the times you know um and you know talking about um craze brought up you know you're talking about the other games like pick up uh some toxicity and stuff in the communities after a portion of time you know that's the great yeah. thing about no man's skies because there's not really toxic content creators. You know, most of the content creators are, are really down to earth, great, well level headed people. And, and, you know, we bring a, we bring a, a positive view to the game, to the community and it draws, draws positive people in, you know? 
Yeah, I actually have a theory about that. I don't know, I've, I've probably told you a million times about, like, the reason why No Man's Sky doesn't have toxic or a mass, uh, like, much to toxicity in it. I, I always feel like, at the beginning, it kind of went through its paces, and then all the toxic people did their damage, and then they left. Um, then, the people who stayed, who really enjoyed the game, um are the kind of people who well they they're not toxic what well, like the toxic people left and um at that point they kind of had a stranglehold like the the cool people had a stranglehold on the community and then every update those toxic people have tried to come back and every update the loyal happy community kind of doesn't take their crap yeah and just kind of pushes <laughs> pushes those few out and gets stronger every single time Heck yeah, man. I agree. And yeah, that, 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 that's my theory anyway. Well, let me ask you this. Because I, I, man, I, I keep looking over to Discord and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> that's a <laughs> lot of people here. Um, well, let me ask you this question. We'll go ahead and pull our next guest. If you had mm -hmm. one question or able to ask Sean Murray one question, what would it be? Oh. Well, of course, the fun answer is, can we rub beards? But I don't, I don't, I don't know if I could come up with a legitimate uh, question here, man. That, that that that's something I need to think about. Dang it! I know, man. I, well, I, see, Cranes <laughs> took the bullet for all you guys because, like, he kind of like got it first for anybody he could hear the podcast and know it was wasn't, coming. So <laughs> I had it muted at that point, so I didn't know it was coming. Uh, <laughs> don't tell nobody um, else. He's hmm. probably done already feeling him now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, hmm. but yeah, man. Uh, you, yeah. Well, I figured it was going to be what was your beard regimen? You know what? What kind of you know what kind of what has what's your beard treatment? <laughs> oh please, I'll be giving him tips. Oh, but first, first, Sean, get a heated beard brush. It's amazing. Just do that after a shower. Make sure it's fully dry. Then, as soon as you've uh, heated it up and straightened it, you need to get some of that. Uh, lovely aloe and uh, chamomile oil beard oil uh, get it through the hair make sure you get it on the skin as well and uh, then comb with a wooden comb to uh, make sure it's straight and doesn't pull and uh, jobs are good very nice very nice <laughs> I'm sorry for the weird answer <laughs> oh no man it, it, dude no <laughs> we're, we're no man sky players man we if I would be impressed if they weren't a weird answer tonight <laughs> Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the interview with Zane's World. I would like to first give a, a huge, huge thank you to all the content creators that came out to the podcast Saturday night and made it happen. You guys were amazing to talk to and amazing interviews from each and every one of you. I want to thank Zane's World for his time, uh, taking the time out of a Saturday to come be a part and uh, share some of his uh, No Man's Sky experience and memories as a content creator with us during this interview guys i hope you enjoy the content if you'd like to see more content like this on the sword channel please leave it a, uh please leave a comment below uh definitely guys help the channel out hit that thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the sword channel please do consider subscribing and guys i will see you all on the next stream peace guys